another aspect of, of the camp is kind of uh, very important as well is kind of the fact that it's it's completely self self organized. DIY horizontal, so it's not like there's a, a group of organizers and they're in charge. Um, when when people come to the camp, they're meant to take responsibility for the camp as much as anybody who's been working on it beforehand. Um, and that's to me is an important like another important part of like showing how things could be different. Um, um, so so along with that goes kind of um, um, meetings and and the meetings we have on camp first of all are, are um, using consensus uh, consensus decision making processes so um, making sure that everybody has a voice and everybody's voice is heard equally um, it's a way to um, avoid kind of a, a, a win lose kind of situation which is what happens um, so often with uh, majority voting um, and instead trying to uh, come to creative solutions that everybody can um, can can agree on and or if, if they don't if, if it's might not be your your first uh, choice and your favorite choice but um, because you've been included in that process and and you've you've seen where the decision comes from it in my opinion it um, it creates decisions that um, that people are more likely to implement and, and get behind and so things get done um, along with that I mean you know the fact that it is self-organized means that we maybe do have more more meetings than than say a top-down structure would have but again like people people are part of that and people feel uh, responsible and part of those decisions um, so the way it worked on site is that we um, we organized into neighborhoods um, and the neighborhoods were based on on different um, kinds of affinity or, or different reasoning so some people might might decide to have a barrio or a neighborhood with people that they live near other people might have a an identity like feminist or queer uh, the neighborhood can empower them to, to take certain decisions or they can serve more as a kind of information kind of conduit um, also they're kind of um, they're always recallable so it's not like someone is the representative for the whole camp you have people rotating through this role and everybody kind of again is encouraged to take responsibility for maybe becoming a barrio representative at one meeting or you know coming on behalf of a working group they've been getting involved in and then finally you have plenary meetings um, where um, especially for the things like the the mass action or really important to have everybody in the room at once and and kind of thinking these things through together um, and it, it can be really empowering to see hundreds of people kind of in one place um, coming coming to agreements and making plans on something like that so that's the basic structure I think this is the narrowest point okay, let's have a lot. talk a little bit yeah Okay, quickly, go in a, in a circle. Going to stay together. Yeah, uh, are we blocking this one also? Yeah, let's okay. do a huddle. Okay. 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 So, is everybody alright? Anybody need medic quick attention? Okay, so who is going to facilitate this quick decision? Do it. I will, I will facilitate. Okay, so for, and as far as I know, the proposal is that we try to stay here blocking these uh, three railways which maybe I suggest we do in three groups and try to stay here we have a police speaker that is gonna try to calm the police down and be as a buffer for us and then we can start to do that and if you have other proposals that is not compatible with this one say it now otherwise we can start as soon as possible to block and then all right let's do it uh, just beyond uh, the, the switch there's a proposal to do it uh, uh, after this uh, switching thing. Behind that switch and then on, on that switch. Okay. What's the reason? Uh, it seems to be uh, more uh, more narrow than, than over here. Less people need it. Yeah, that's good reason. What do we think? think? Is everybody okay with this proposal? Yeah. yeah. Press is on its way. Police speaker is escorting press to this point. Yeah. Okay. Other police speaker. Uh, and we okay. have a press speaker here right now. Uh, do we have a press have speaker a press yet? Speaker? No How can we deal with this situation? Maybe uh, somebody feels like it's talking with the press? Okay, if there's nobody... I can do it together with you. And, uh, you're a Dutch speaker, are you? A bit. Not fluently. I think... The thing is enough? The Dutch, you know? Who? Here, yeah. Okay. okay. I can speak. I want to be backup. Okay, but she will be. She will be. Okay. So yeah. Baraka is backup. 
practice. Just to summarize very quickly, the, the proposal, the, uh, we, uh, the range we made is that we are going to stand over there in three groups and stay there. We have a police speaker and a press speaker. And then if something shows up, uh, we can again so try to have a quick decision process. Is that right? Is everybody okay yeah. with this decision? No blocks? Okay, let's move. Everyone who's, um, who's been involved in the kind of preparation process for the camp is involved in a number of different working groups because there have been very few of us um, involved in the camp. Um, and so there's working groups like logistics, um, meetings and facilitation, outreach, media, um, and then within the logistics group there's lots of um, smaller working groups within that. Um, um, other working groups, there were the kitchen who came along and fed everyone, there was the working group who set up the toilets, the group who set up the sink, there was um, a group who uh, collected tools and organised the tools, um, there was a meetings and facilitation group that um, planned the agenda for meetings and um, structured uh, the, the plenary meetings, um, structured the big discussions um, in a way that um, would most effectively bring out different people's ideas and different problems and solutions um, and come to decisions that everybody could be happy with. Um, there was the media working group that uh, put out press releases every day and did lots of um, interviews via telephone and for TV and for radio and newspapers and um, uh, escorted journalists around the site um, to show them the different parts of the site and that kind of thing. Um, and so we've had workshops here ranging from things as simple as the, the science of climate change, the most updated science, so people know um, what the situation is. We've had um, uh, workshops and discussions about what's at stake in Copenhagen at the COP15 uh, United Nations conference that's coming up in December. Um, we've had rocket stove making workshops, grey water, how to build a grey water system. Um, so everything from kind of uh, the political and economic, scientific, um, practical skills, um, sustainable living. Um, there's been a whole range of workshops and debates. For the kitchen energy, the beamers, the everything that uh, you use is electricity here. The pedal, the, the windmill. Uh huh. Over there. Yeah. And uh, the solar panels. It's a do it yourself, self made windmill generator. And then uh, there are two tandems connected to it. So now they, uh, if you uh, bike with one you can do uh, 50 watts but all together you can do 200 watts easily and peak maybe 700 watts. And it uh, goes straight into the uh, battery bank we have here and it's all getting together in the battery bank. From there we transform it to 220 again and uh, give it long distances to the tents and uh, the kitchen and whatever. So nowadays electronics are about 90% efficient uh -huh. and this is uh, because of the windmill generator is also one of the best ways of uh, getting uh, movement into electricity so it's quite efficient as well. Yes. We have about uh, electricity for normally one or two households uh -huh. and it's, uh, a household is in the average 400 watts but we use only half a household and of course there's not always sun there's not always wind so well we go uh, we have uh, enough energy now this way I can't say a generator or a solar panels or one is better than the other because uh -huh. there's a lot of production uh, chemicals and, and energy involved in making solar cells so it's not really uh, uh, it all has something that's not uh, durable, of course, mm -hmm. but then you, uh, you try things out and this is one of the experiments we are making. Uh -huh. That means the pedal power is the better one. It's the best. And all together we pedal. Uh, 800 watt hour, so one hour of 800 watt. Okay, so that's all together what we put in the battery. The entire, so that's not really much. <laughs> it's enough for charging the, the cell phones and, uh, and the night lights. So that's quite good.